Hello, I'm Fleur and I'm from the Church of the Good Shepherd. Do you know what this is? It's an angel and I'm just going to show you how to make it very quickly. Angels are a very important part of the Nativity story which I'll be reading a little bit later. So first of all you need a paper plate like this or if you've got a cardboard box you could cut out a big circle like that. Then you need to cut out a V shape like that. So now I've got two pieces like this. You will also need another round bit of cardboard and some things to decorate or colour in with and I have taken some foil, some nice shiny foil to put at the back here which will be like the angel's halo. So first of all you need to take the V shape and stick it on like so. Now you might want to cut the wings a little bit more if you want to and then you need to put your halo like that on next and then the face like that and if I show you my angel I've decorated, decorated my angel like this but you can do it any way that you want to I'm sure yours will be very good indeed. So that's a nice simple way to make an angel out of a paper plate. Now we will read some of the story. Teddy's going to have a listen to. Now I've taken this book which is called First Christmas because this is one of my favourite books, children's books, at Christmas time and it's illustrated by Jane Swift and adapted by Marie Birkinshaw. This part is called Mary and the Angel. Once long ago, God sent the angel Gabriel to a small town in Galilee named Nazareth. Gabriel had an important message for a girl called Mary. The angel knew exactly where to find her. Every evening when Mary had finished her work, she stood at the courtyard gate looking out across the olive groves. She liked to listen to the birds and watch the sun setting behind the hills. Suddenly Mary heard someone behind her. She turned in surprise and saw the angel. Peace be with you, said Gabriel softly. The Lord God has sent me with a special message for you. I'll let you have a look at the pictures now. There we are. Can you see? And there's the angel Gabriel coming to visit Mary. He's very shiny and bright. I think I would have been a bit startled as well when the angel Gabriel had come if he'd come and seen me. Soon you will be the mother of a baby boy and you will call him Jesus, said the angel. God will make him a special king and his kingdom will never end. Mary could hardly believe her ears. How can this be, she asked the angel. God can do anything if you trust him, Gabriel told her. He will look after you and your baby. I do trust God, Mary answered, and I will do whatever he wants. Let's have a look at this picture. There you go. It's wonderful, isn't it? Mary really did trust in God and she was very obedient to him. Now Mary was engaged to a man called Joseph. He was a carpenter and a kind man who always did what was right. That night, Joseph dreamed that an angel was talking to him. The angel told Joseph about God's special plan for Mary and the baby. 
And God would like you to look after the baby too, said the angel. So Jesus trusted God and married Mary. Let's have a look at these pictures. There we are. There's Joseph working on making some chairs and things. That's what carpenters do. And there is his dream and his vision of the angel talking to him. What a good man Joseph was. And we know that he was going to take great care of Mary and the baby. Now I'm going to read you some more another time. So we'll say bye bye for now. And Teddy is going to say bye bye too. And see if you can make your angel. Bye bye.